Hello and welcome to the ATM2 unboxing. I am Mark Sumner, I am the UC and C collaboration business manager here at North Amber and I'm going to quickly walk you through the ATM product and how easy it is to unbox. With me it is the Isoth EV2360 which is a 22 and a half inch colour screen. You are being recorded on the Comptel Cam 20 so you know all the products here are available from North Amber speak to your account manager and they'll be able to help so let me get straight into this unboxing so in front as you can see that is the ATM2 box as it arrives with you if we open that box up you can see straight away it dictates the mounting options that you can do so this product can be stored on top of a projector it can be behind a display wherever you require it really because it has some cute little features that can be used so let's go straight into this there is the installation guide for everybody that knows how to set it up in a quick few easy steps there is the pod itself that is the pod so if we take that out underneath the pod you can see the cords and the power supply let me just show you those so those are the air cord and the power supply the power supply comes with a three pin plug so it just needs connecting into the power supply the air cord itself let me show you this so here it is you have the hdmi to plug into the display you have the usb a which will plug into the power supply which gives the item power and then the usb c which plugs into the air term device itself now this little red sticker here is an adhesive patch obviously you don't want your cables running about falling off and you want to hide this this behind the display or on a wall if you peel this off that will instantly stick to any surface so to the wall to the back of the display whichever way you may want to use it so what I'll do now, I will quickly just unbox this and plug this in. So I'm going to plug the HDMI into the back of the ISO display that is there, the EV2360. I'm going to plug the USB into the power supply, then the USB-C into the device, and it will showcase to you on the desk there as one working item. So there you have the device fully set up, plugged in. That little green light means that it is active and working. And as you can see on the ISO display, there is a quick setup guide. Now it is advisable to download the app because this app will pick this device up instantly on the network. And we will quickly go through now. So here we go with the walkthrough of the quick setup. So if you go to atm.com forward slash setup, you will be able to download the app. The app, once downloaded, will be able to see the device on the network. So I'll bring my laptop into the screen there. So as you can see there, that is the display number on there for the Airtem, and it matches perfectly there. So all we have to do is go to setup, type in the device's name. So I'm just going to call this Mark Test for now click continue you can put a white, uh, password on there it's completely up to you i'm going to skip that for now and then you add it to your network so this is where if you have bought the accessory of the ethernet adapter or the poe adapter you can put it on the wired network and it will automatically do that but for this one i'm going to put it on the wi-fi one i'm just going to take my laptop out of frame just so i can add in the passwords for the network and then as soon as it's on we will be able to go from there so what this does, this I logs into the ATM and lets you put in the Wi-Fi network. So I've put in my local network here and as you can see there, it's changed instantly as soon as I've put the password in and it asks me, do you see a confirmation? So does it confirm that I am connected to the test unit? So it confirms that is on there and I will click my confirmation. Now the device has been set up. It is up and running and available to be used. So all I have to do now is jump back on my network uh, because obviously it switched it off to connect to the Airtames network um, and then it will be visible to the app and I will show you. So I'll bring my laptop back into screen now. As you can see there, I've just logged back onto my network and you can see the device. So all I have to click now is share screen and it shares the screen as quick and easy as that so now you can see a complete mirror image of my screen so what i'm going to do i'm going to take the laptop out of phase so that you can see what i'm now doing so this is screening directly to the item i'm going to take that off so you'll see back to that screen what i'm going to show you now is the airtime cloud so this is where you'll need to log into the devices to turn on miracast turn on anything uh, like that airplay because the devices aren't set up to accept that out of the box so what we do you go to airtime.com cloud and you will sign up for a cloud account and that will allow you to manage your devices so 
with those you log this in i already have an account set up as you can see my group north amber av is there and what i will do i will add an airtime device so i've got to open my airtime desktop application click on the settings icon and copy in this code uh, into the token field so let me copy this code now there is my device so if i go into the device settings and it says the cloud token is there so i can then paste that into there and apply the changes so that will then bring that item under control over here so that i can now see that device see how quick that was instantaneous more or less <laughs> and that device is now there so i can then go into that device so that device is now available so i can go into the device and see what i need to do with it so let me bring that device up So that is my edit settings there. So here you can see, as you can see there, the mirroring support. So Google Cast, Miracast, AirPlay are all off. All you have to do to quickly turn them on, click the buttons and apply the settings. You can change the name, you can change the orientation. There's lots of settings available in here, but for now we will just show you how quick and easy that is. So I'm gonna apply those changes there. And those are done, the device is done, updated and running. So what I'm gonna do is take the laptop away and we will have that there. As you can see, my app is running there, that is running there. I'm gonna do the Windows K to search for the device because I've turned on the Miracast and the AirPlay and that should now bring up the device itself. As you can see, March display, click that and it works. There is now it mirror cast into that device. It is simple and as easy as that. So it shows my entire display. So here you go. You can see now that I am showing completely my display. So it will show everything that is on that display and I mirror casted that quite easily. As I showed you, I can use the app. You can download and update these items via the cloud. You can see everything that you want to see. But I just wanted to highlight now, obviously, this product is being displayed on the ISO EV2360. It is available from North Amber along with the Airtame device. And obviously the device cloud license is free. There is upgrades for cloud licenses where you can have analytics and do more with digital signage. And they are an added accessory. If you do want any more information on these, please do contact your account manager today. And I will disconnect from the share as simple as that. And as you can see, that screen comes back up. Thank you very much for listening. And if you want any more information, please do contact your North Amber account manager. Thank you.